Hey guys, Ryan here, Rocket Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. As you can see, I'm out by the lake today, and I'm headed out to the day camp, and we're gonna cook up some mad food. I'm making a candied smoked salmon with uh, steamed garlic asparagus with smoked herb butter. So it's gonna be cool. Uh, you don't wanna miss it. Let's get out there. started snowing. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Pretty crazy. It's all good. I'm gonna set up camp. Cook some dang food. Like a king. As you can see I got my Mead who cooks it. Make up a nice big tea. Oh, it's freezing, guys. It's supposed to warm up later, but it doesn't feel like it. We're supposed to get a big snowstorm tomorrow. Um, today, we're supposed to get some flurries, and it's a bit windy. So, I hope the video comes out okay. So my water's boiling. I'm gonna snuff that out. Even though it's nice and warm, I kinda wanna keep it going. But, I have the usual uh, Bigelow tea, which is uh, ginger and peach herbal tea. If you can see that. <clears throat> I'm gonna do two bags today. Uh, I want to tell you guys that if you didn't tune in last week, me and Fitchick started a live stream that we're going to do weekly. Um, it's called Frosty Fridays. And basically, we just do a live stream for a little while and uh, have a couple beers and just talk about stuff and give you guys a chance to um, ask us any kind of questions that you want to ask us about whatever hiking, bushcraft, um, cooking stuff, whatever. Um, just to be able to bond with some of the some of the viewers and all our supporters and really appreciate you know you guys stopping by. So Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Frosty Fridays. So tune in for that. It's a good time. We did it the first time last week and uh, we had a blast. We had a bunch of people come on and um, it was just a good time. So we're gonna just keep doing that. Okay guys, I got you on a little bird's eye view here, so you can uh, kind of see what I'm doing. I'm ready to get this smoker going. So I have my Mihu stove. 
just filled it up with fuel. Light that up. An old metal can in there um, with some water and chips. And I have some hickory chips that are slightly damp um, stacked all around it. I'm just going to set that right on there. I have my expedition research go great. As you can see in there, a little stainless like shot glass, and I have a bunch of herb butter in there. <clears throat> piece of salmon. That is looking good. You guys can see that. That's a pretty good chunk of salmon. Now I sliced it so that way I can set it on this grill grate and it'll stand up. What I'm going to do is put my herb butter right in the middle of that. Just like that. I'm going to make a stick to stick through there. For now, I'm just going to put my top on that, like so. Um, it's about time to fill the alcohol stove because it's almost out of fuel. It's been running for a while. Um, I'll give you a quick peek at the fish. Smoking up good. Uh, it's looking good. Um, so I'm going to snuff out this alcohol stove. What's great too about this Expedition Research grill grate is, you know, it fits on this pot perfectly. I can pick this up and fill my my water thing, stir my chips, um, which I'm going to do actually. Um, it works well. It works really well. Let's get it back on there. I'll pull this off. Set this on my. I don't know if you guys can see, she's really smoking up now. It's nice. I took the water cup out, my little water can. Um, I just took that out because I want it to dry out a little bit. The meat's really moist from all the water. I want it to dry up, just get smoky. She's getting there. Smoky goodness. <clears throat> While I'm sitting here, I'm going to break into this baby. Founders All Day IPA. She's, uh, these are pretty good. I've had them before. It's a nice hoppy IPA, 42 IBUs. It's only 4.7% alcohol, so it's good for a day camp. <sighs> yeah, that's good. I hit the spot. Uh, I think I'm gonna get the veggies going. So, what I'm gonna do, take my expedition research pot here. I made a little steamer out of it. And I'm going to poke some holes, small holes, all around through the tin foil. Just like that. It's like choppers flying over and stuff. And I'm going to fill this with water until it pretty much reaches the bottom of the tin foil. I'm 
put as much in here as I can. Looks pretty good. Stick the cover in there. Fire up my S bit stove. Probably reach a boil, boil for a couple minutes maybe, then I'll have to put another cube on because they don't last very long. The salmon's really smoking up here. I added some more chips to it. I actually try a little piece. Oh, that's good. It's so good. I hope you guys can see that. Ah, I dropped it. <laughs> So flaky. Yeah, it's pretty much done. My herb butter is in there smoking. Okay, guys, ready to go. As you can see, my uh, asparagus steamed up really nice. My fish is looking good. So we're gonna eat. I'm gonna make up a plate here. And uh, get going. Oh my god, that fish is amazing. Amazing. Get my herb butter here. Try to make a display here. Dropping it all over the place. Oh my god. That was incredible. Got my herb butter. Put a little bit of that on the veggies. fish too as well. Oh yeah baby. If you guys take a look at this. How's that, huh? That's a spread I would say. That looks damn good. Right, guys eating like a king out here once again you know with a little bit of patience and oh my god perfectly cooked with that herb butter on it amazing mm. so good so good Oh, the fish is amazing. It's so smoky. Unbelievable, guys. Unbelievable. Got my IPA. All right, guys. That's about it. I guess I'm going to stuff my face and get out of here. I hope you all enjoyed the video today. Um, just shows a little bit of ingenuity, patience, hard work. You can accomplish anything out in the bush. So uh, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell button down below so you get notifications from my channel. Stay tuned for more stuff. I appreciate you all coming out. Rocket Outdoors. See you on the next one, guys.